same None of us is perfect So he forgives our sin Jesus is our savior And his love will never end Good morning, we're so glad you're here today. Why don't you come over and Amy and Josiah will help you get back to your room. Hi, what grade are you in? Okay, let's go back to Ms. Tybel. Should we wave? Yeah. Let's wave. Hi. Okay, wave on the camera. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Good morning, boys and girls. Our story for today is the Sermon on the Mount. Love your enemies. And this comes from Matthew 5, 17 through 48. The day Jesus taught the Beatitudes, he also explained many other things about life in his kingdom. Jesus wanted people to know that everything in the law of Moses pointed forward to him. Jesus was the one, the only one, who could obey God's law perfectly and fulfill everything the law of Moses required. 
But he warned the people that unless their righteousness was greater than the scribes and the Pharisees, they would not go to heaven. The Pharisees talked a lot about obeying God's law. They added strict extra rules to protect them from breaking God's laws. But the Pharisees were the only think were only thinking about sinning on the outside. They forgot they were still sinful inside in their hearts, which was the biggest problem of all. To help the crowd understand how sin works in our hearts, Jesus reminded them that anyone who murdered another person was guilty of breaking God's law. But then Jesus went on to explain that even a person who gets angry with his brother is guilty of the same sin of murder. Jesus taught that becoming angry with someone, with someone is like murdering that person in your heart. This was a sin that needed forgiveness too. Jesus reminded them that the law required that they love their neighbor. Leviticus 19.18 But then he explained what that looks like in a very surprising way. Love your enemies, he said. Pray for the people who are cruel and are hurtful to you. It's easy to love people who love you, but it's hard to love people who don't. But that's what God's law asks of us. In fact, Jesus said, You therefore must be perfect, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Matthew 5.48 This is what God's law really teaches. When Jesus taught the people to love their enemies and to pray for them, he was teaching them the core of the gospel. The Apostle Paul tells us that Christ died for us while we were his enemies. When the disciples deserted him and his own people, the Jews, had the Romans, the, had the Romans crucify him, Jesus still prayed. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Luke 23, 34. He did everything God's law could ask of anyone. And when he rose again, Jesus offered his perfect life to anyone who trusts him to keep God's law in their place. Remember, perfect means you don't, you don't make any mistakes at all. The only way that we can be perfect is through Jesus, who kept the law on the outside and inside in his heart. He did what we could not do. He lived a perfect life, and then, while we were his enemies, he took our place to die for our sins. We cannot get to heaven if we repent of our sins and trust in Jesus. He offers salvation to everyone who trusts in him. And here's our picture for today. All right, boys and girls, let's practice our Bible memory verse for the week. It is the Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5, verses 3 through 9. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Hey kids, don't forget to have mom and dad send a picture of you growing in God's Word.